damn, son, where'd you find this? Black, that black ledge, it doesn't look like much, but that'll be a, oh, yep, oh, good fish too. Oh, damn it. Out in the open too. It was in the open. I just hope this isn't a GT. He's coming back. He's got bugger all to go to. He doesn't know what to do. I've only seen black so far, so... Just trying to get to that edge now. Silver in today. <laughs> GT? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. Alright guys, welcome back. As you can see, weather's bloody beautiful again. Took the opportunity to get back out on the reef. Don't get out here often enough and with a full week of good weather, why not? So yeah, we're back out here today. We've got Dave and Geordie down the back. You can't really see them in the morning sunlight. We've just basically come up to the edge of this reef here. And I don't know if you can see it, but fair way in, probably 150 metres in, you can see like a whole big blue hole over there. And it's full of bombies and that. So what we're going to do is uh, while this tide's quite high, we're gonna sneak right up into the shallows there. And we're just gonna pepper with sort of smaller lures and um, sort of try and pick up a few trout and any other sort of like little reef dwellings, dwelling species while we're out here. So yeah, that's the morning plan while the tide's up. As it drops out and all the fish and everything's pushed out off the reef, we're gonna go and sort of do a little bit of jigging out a bit wider. But uh, this morning while we're here, I'm gonna be running that one. It's a little 6K reel. It's got P3 Sunline Siglon on it. That's a, a NSSW game. It's a P4 stick bait rod, the seven foot eight, which is the same as you probably saw in my last video. And uh, today I'm running this one here. It's a, a Ocean's Legacy Keeling stick bait. So that's 160 mil sinking sticky. It's got a nice little shimmy on the drop. I've got it rigged up with a couple of 5.0 uh, BKK Diablos. So should go all right with that set up for the morning but uh yeah i've just got that hooked up rigged up there with a little solid and a split ring there just so i can change if i do feel like i need to change color and then i've got a 130 pound sunline in the sun, uh, system shock leader which i always use so yeah we're gonna probably about two hours or three hours doing this before the tide drops out too far and it's i'm still getting to know the boat and how shallow it how much water it needs to um you know to float across this reef so i'm not going to push it too hard but uh we're gonna get up in that lagoon and we're gonna have a bit of a pepper through the bombies and see what's happening there. And there, once that tide drops out, we're gonna go and do a little bit of jigging.
all my drags not set. Nice trout. <laughs> Should we blood the esky this early or what? <laughs> Undersize, you reckon? Yeah, he looks undersized. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. Nice. Oop, nearly fell off the boat. Settle. Cool fish. You can go back. Oh my god, that thing just come from 4Ks out. <laughs> He's still on it. Here we go. Oh. He's lost interest. He just chased it for ages, mate. The lure fouled up, that's why. Perfect zone here. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. There's so much colour out of your eye. Yeah, it's there in the side pocket. Oh, I don't think there's a camera a battery in that camera. Oh no, this is big. Oh, it's big and brown. Oh, he's on the reef. Is this a flowery cod? <laughs> Look at the size of it. It's a big potato. Is it a rast? No, nah, it is a big flowery. He knew exactly where to go too. He's just got his head in there. Yuck! <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> nah, I'm just going to unhook him beside the boat. I just don't even get his head back down. Even if you want to just, yeah, please. Thanks, man. Big garbage guts. I seen him on his side and I'm like, that's a ras. <laughs> Big brown thing. Thanks, man. Legend. That'll get eaten. Oh, <laughs> that's a G. Oh, there's another one coming for you. <laughs> Just watch that rod, bro. She's only P3. Let's see if his mate wants to play. <laughs> Did he get you there? Yeah. Uh. GTs. Who would want to catch him? <laughs> yeah, that was a cool, cool bite. I knew I was in trouble, but I sort of invited, invited that carnage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that popper just calls GTs in, eh? It's guaranteed.
Let's go find some broken stuff, eh? Like broken ground like this. I'm waiting forever to get to the edge of that reef. That edge looks good, eh? Be careful casting over it. <laughs> <laughs> so no matter which way we drift which which side of the reef we go to we're getting flow off <laughs> okay this is probably game over if something big comes yeah look fusies are just hanging down deep there that's something a bit bigger down there see that Right, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm going to do a little bit of jigging. I've got a new rod. I did use it in the last video, but yeah, that's my little 1500 OSHA jigger, and it's got P3 in that new Sunline uh, P jigger, the ULT, which is a slow pitch jigging braid. So really cool braid. Um, it is a four strand. It's a little bit zippy through the guides and that, but it definitely cuts through the current a lot better, and you can stay over your jig a lot nicer. So. Um, yeah, I've got that that rigged up with that 50 pound line on the main and then I've got a good full rod length and a half of 130 pound in the system shock leader Same as what I got on my casting setup and uh, like I said, that's a brand new rod Ocean's Legacy Elementus in the slow pitch P4 So generally I'll run a P3. I bought the P4 just because I, I'm just done with getting smoked out here <laughs> But big Chinaman, I want something with a little bit more power. I don't need much more power But yeah, the P3 is pretty good for an all-rounder but just once i'm out here on the on the reef and that when it's a bit more rugged that p4 just gives me a little bit more so i'm going to run that little one there that's a slow black s that's 100 gram and i've got it rigged up with some bkk lentis which have caught a lot of fish as you can sort of see a little bit busted up there but um it did me pretty good last trip so i've got this one i'm just going to alternate between the the 100 r and the 100 s model just depending on what the fish wants so it's just going to sort of depend on what's happening when, once we get off this flat and into the deeper stuff. Yep. Oh, way under the boat. <laughs> Come on, Dave. <laughs> we must have like hit right <laughs> side by side, eh? Yeah, mine stopped biting. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He just got his legs on. Could be red throat, maybe. 40 metres of water, you don't know what would it be down there. Ah, uh, yuck. Oh, yep. Oh, no. Yep, double Trevs. Alright, next spot. <laughs> There's little bits of bottom down there, so there's definitely potential. Good ground there now. <laughs> oh, that's the one you want. Get down there, Dave. Yeah. Is it? God. Nut no, trout. Nice trout. Mega nice trout. Really cool colours on that. That's a bar cheek. <laughs> Look at that thing. Never seen a trout with them colours. Really cool. Another nice trout. Yeah. Look at the head on him. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Sorry, mate. That 
was like straight on then. Good. It looks oh. good. <laughs> Trev. Oh, probably Trev. Yeah, Trev. Yep. It's the right colour anyway. Yeah. It's the right colour cod. <laughs> tasty size. Tasty, right? Yeah. He's the right species if you want to keep him. Yeah. Oh mate, I've, I'm happy to put a few in there. <laughs> Upgrade. Doesn't feel desirable. It's not them big, big marks on there. Very silver and rotating. Oh, I should have left that down there. <laughs> Little bananary. Everything eats them. It's your lucky day, mate. Don't die on the way down. <laughs> we are drifting perfectly for the marks. Pretty sandy there, though. Yep. Good for flatties. You just don't know, like that cone at that depth is only like six meters, a eh? Six meter like diameter. So you'll call stuff from outside that cone, no problem. And there's a fish just there, like you won't pick him up. Bit of bait down there. <laughs> come back, baby. Come back. Yep. Yeah. Small. Which one's that? Is that a P3 or 4? No, that's 4. Big oh, stripey. Monster stripey. Did I release it alright from up here? Um, yeah, just pop that little bag. He should be able to chew it like... He'll probably chew it himself. Yeah, they will bite it themselves. Bottom. Got him. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Stop me in my tracks, that's for sure. Oh man, there's got to be some big stuff in there. Getting many big like, arches on them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Proper stopped in my tracks then. Yeah. A couple of good bites, but. I'm proper in unexplored ground here, so. I'm in two mines that whether to go and keep going or to oh no, we've got a bit of bottom there. There's enough bait there to hold fish. Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Get him up. Break his spirit. Coming up on ground, eh? That's some colour here. Nut Trevally. Yuck.
Shane is just lit up, eh? Bait. Oh. oh, I saw that. Yeah. You'll be right. Oh. Yeah. You should still catch the edge of it. Absolutely zero fight. It's like I just hooked a piece of coral on the way past. That's a bit better. You're on the wrong side of the boat, Dave. Oh, you just got a bit of a wake up. What is this? I've just woken up. It's right at the top. Nice trout. Oh, a real nice trout. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice one. Beautiful colours in his eye, eh? That purple. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but one, eh? you got a good, decent looking fish there, man. Where's the assistance? Yeah. Looks like he's giving you some. Good colour? Oh. No! You're plagued by me today. There's a trout. <laughs> oh, trouty down. Yeah. Hey! Better show there. Oh. <laughs> Just winching with a bouncy rod tip. <laughs> okay. oh, tusky. Little fella. I'll go back. That's not a tusky. Yeah, nice, Dave's on. Looks nice. Oh, he's oh, nice, Dave. proper giving it to you. I'll come round. Oh. Swim, mate. Hey, how are you looking? You getting railed or what? That tusky will go down, surely. Yeah, there he goes. Huh? Huh? I don't know. I don't know if Trevally out here will be giving you that much. Definitely giving you what for. Let me know once you get into that last colour, I'll come over for a look. How are you looking? Yeah. <laughs> what have we got? There's some colour, but it's deep still. Oh, good ground again. It looks like it's the right colour, man. It's definitely the right colour. It's just the wrong species. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> you right? You want pliers? Is that your first Chinaman? That's the first Chinaman. Oh, you definitely have to take a photo with that. <laughs> yeah, mate. Filthy animal. All right. Put him on rice, mate. <laughs> You get good, like, tip tingling lips. No shortage of nice trout. Yep. Lots of bouncing. Just harvesting, eh? Yeah. Another tusky, is it? Yeah. Such a pretty little fish. He just spits out his sausage roll. <laughs> oh, yep, yep. oh, I've seen that. You ripped your hand off. It did. It it did lift your hand off the real A. Eh? 
Don't come fish me, Marks. You got colour. Nah, big fork tail on that one. Yeah. <laughs> he slowed down there. I reckon he's got. He went over that bomby I've got marked there, and he's like, oh, "I'm not going to stop while these guys are there." <laughs> I don't want to give them the mark. Man, that thing buckled you, eh, for what it was, for what it is. Here we go. Game on here. This is where you start to just get a bit like zone out a little bit and yeah. then next minute just bang. Oh, they're a bloody good sports fish, eh? It's just a shame like the only reason why they get so much hate is because people can't neck them and like man i'm letting go trout so i don't really care like if it pulls hard that's all right give it to me but give me something that pulls hard that's not a chinaman because i caught heaps of them something that i haven't caught and let's go have a little look and find a mark loaded up with bait and shit. as soon as i say that the sound will just go boss so usually when i get to the top that's when it'll happen <laughs> She's had a good day. Yeah, look. Oh, you're joking. And look at the fish leading it. Mm. <laughs> we go back when, whenever I say bring it up, don't bring it up. Yeah, <laughs> drop back down, man. I'll get rid of these fish and put them in the esky. Send them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brought you to my best Chinaman ground, man. Yeah. Problem is they caught it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, trust me, there's more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you break cool. their spirit and they're over, eh? Yeah. That chartreuse jig's hard, definitely eh? giving me a schooling. Very nice. Very nice one. Ooh, was that a shark? No, I don't know what that was. He's dead. Yeah, that looks good. Yep, yeah, that's a good fish. I think this is a bigger red throat. It is a red throat. I just thought that might have been a shark coming up for him. <laughs> you on? Yeah. I think I didn't need a jig as soon as I hit the bottom I was on. I don't think he's legal. Oh, what happened to him? He's got a big sore on his head. Can't punch it on. Yeah. You got one? Yeah. Nice trout too. might go up a little bit higher on that drift this time, eh? Yep. Because there's definitely a bit showing there. All right, we're drifting out away from the reef there. There we go. Yeah, I like this bit more current, eh? What's he coming up? He's going to jump. It's a barra. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> it's, a, it's a trout. Surely that's legal. He can live another day. He's on the edge. Living on the edge. He's like, what even just happened? See you, mate. All right, I'm going to set us up on that drift properly, eh? Yep. 
Sorry, I know you just got down. I caught the fish and, you know. <laughs> Are we even moving? Barely. There's a lot of water moving here, so real potential for a big, big like blue spot trout. With that many stripies and crap around. You see that jig for ages, eh? Yeah. Stop fighting! <laughs> the winch mode, spiraling chicken. Yuck. You catch one of these and leave it down there, mate. You watch what monsters you are. <laughs> You'll never know. Yep. Yeah. Not a chicken? No. Nah. I'm going to say that's a chicken. If they're just chickens, we're out. Did ya? A hexy. Oh my god. Heavy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> We might get out a little bit wider, eh? Oh, coral cod. Pretty little fish. Far from the target. Yeah, I reckon. Get away from this small crap. All right, we're heading in. We're jigging that. Get a couple. Oh my god, they're lighting up. That's what nearly 20 meters off the bottom. 20 meters of fish there now. It wasn't lit up like this the last time I fished it. There's, oh, I missed him. No, there's no goldens here. Trout. It's getting heavier. Oh, what? No, oh, one. yep, that's bigger. That's better. <laughs> upgrade. Mega upgrade. Pull that. Go again. There's his mate. <laughs> what are you <he's> doing? <laughs> Far out. <laughs> I could just play with these things all day, eh? You on? What happened? I got sniffed. No, you jig. Yep. <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you come There you go. Oh, yuck. It's a Trevor. Look, oh, you just head butted the boat. <laughs> Is he on your line? Free spooling? Ew. I was like, why is he stuck under the boat? All right. I'm going to. Wow, we got a Wirrabindu twist. Okay. I'll just chop mine off. All right, that's us. We're gonna head in now. Overall, not a bad day. You can't really complain when you're looking at the reef. It's uh, always a bit of a treat to get out there. So 
It's a beautiful part of the world we live in. We did come and have a little bit of a go in, a little bit closer in the on the outside of the channel and had a little bit of a crack, but uh, we got a fairly strong wind against tide with a northerly here, so it's gonna make for a pretty fun tr trip home. Shouldn't be too bad, but it'll just be a little bit tedious, hopefully not too much banging, but uh, I'm sure we'll be right. Anyway, that's us. Thanks for watching. While you're here, if you haven't already done it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Peace.